our psychological need for a father figure to give responsibility away, to be like sheep, has made us create a God. God didn't create us. But if we become free of this need for a father figure, and if we become free of the need to throw responsibility on others and on some, omni-powerful God, and we still know that what is happening here is not coincidental, that sends us on a spiritual quest. And one of the first steps that is happening is that we take responsibility. Because nothing is coincidental and it's happening for a reason. Now, at one point along, this, along the path, we get glimpses of, of being connected, that we are not separated. We get glimpses of, of disappearing, right? Of, of transcending the ego, transcending the strong sense of separation that is the ego, me and you and she and her, comes a moment well, for a split second we are, for a split moment we are silent. There is no movement, nothing to achieve, nobody to become. A moment of pure presence where we are connected. And in this moment where we are connected, we see ourselves everywhere. We are one with existence, right? We, there is no separation between you and the tree. There is no separation between you and the bird that is flying up in the sky. For a moment, we drop our identification with the identity and we are connected. And in that connection we see that in the so-called daily life we are just a drop. We identify ourselves as a drop, but really our essence is that we are one with the ocean, that, we, that there is no self, that we are not separated. And that experience when we are touching that space, gives birth to trust. When someone tells us that, it can ring a bell, echoing deep inside our being. Yes, I'm familiar with that. Sounds familiar. But we have to be in it one, once, consciously, in that moment of expansion, in that moment of remembering our true nature. And then, of course, the ego is, is coming back, trying to make a fist out of it, trying to claim it, to be attached to it, is afraid of it, wanting to become it, etc. But that moment is giving birth to trust. Now there is a knowing that is Significant. It doesn't need to be explained in words, this significant. It doesn't necessarily has to be understood. But the trust is no longer believing that everything will be okay and that others will behave according to our expectations. That is just an optimistic, poor substitute for the real thing. Trust is the knowing that everything is already okay. Even if we don't understand it, 